Oh, sure. All right, and for further study of randomness, I believe, we're going to have Moses Liskov telling us about illegitimi non irritatum aut lorem ipsum deserti omnium. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so this is uh, joint work with Or Dunkelman. Um, okay, so uh, I really want to thank Ron for his excellent talk today, and uh, um, I think it, well, a lot of uh, his introductory part boils down to this. Cybersecurity is all the same. Um, as cyber offenders, we alternately uh, either take costly actions to improve our security or rely on inaction or free or cheap moves. Attackers alternately take costly actions to illegitimately obtain resources or avoid exposure and take what they can get. Um, they're really the same kind of thing. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> what they proposed was to talk about this, uh, this simplified game called Flip It. Um, players make moves, uh, illustrated by the little circles, to uh, obtain the resource that they're fighting over. Uh, each player is unaware of their opponent's moves until they move. Um, and the attacker and defender have costs, C0 and C1, for making moves. The goal is to maximize the benefit uh, for, for uh, the, the benefit here is the period of control, the, the time they have control of the resource, minus the cost they had to pay in order to make their actions. Um, and uh, Ron talked about a number of interesting results about optimal strategies in this. Um, in this. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, so cooperati humanus est, that is to share is human. Um, so one thing is, it, it sort of depends on what you're trying to do with your resource. Um, if, for example, all you really wanted to do is play Angry Birds, maybe the attacker and the defender can both benefit at the same time. So one thing that's inherent in Flip It is that only one of the players can benefit from the resource at once. Um, and it really, if you think about it, there's no reason the attacker can't be on your machine and you still get to benefit from it, right? Uh, unless what they're doing isn't stealthy. If they've actually taken away your ability to use your machine, then you can't benefit from it. So we're proposing a, a new version of the game. Um, and in this game, uh, players can make two kinds of moves. They can either obtain access uh, for one cost, AII, Player I is getting it for AI, and if they have access, they can also do a lockdown for a different cost, BI. Um, and basically, uh, you benefit as long as you have access, and you, uh, and you know when you lose access, because of course, you know, if you, you, you want to benefit from the resource and you don't have access, you'll notice that. Um, so <laughs> the, the goal here is, again, to maximize a player's benefit. Um, and uh, uh, we decided this game should be called Skip It. Um, <laughs> The, the reason is that basically here's the, the strategies, the optimal strategies. If, if you don't have access, then your, your strategy just depends on your opponent's strategy for doing lockdowns. Well, I don't know what that's going to be, so let's look at the other side of things. If we have access, then we're already benefiting, so why are we going to pay to do a lockdown? There's no point. Therefore, our opponent's uh, strategy for lockdowns optimally for them will be to not bother, and so we, um, our theorem is that we just sort of share, man. Um, and... Uh, <coughs> And, uh, well, of course, the, uh, the, the real reason that we end up having um, any kind of lockdown happening, any kind of, uh, uh, you know, actual security action is not because, you know, it's because someone's bothering us, right? Um, so actually, we're going to, uh, lorem ipsum deserta omnia, information technology ruins everything. So it's actually a three-player game. It's between the attacker, the defender, and the defender's IT department. <laughs> Um, the IT department's goal is, uh, is to minimize the attacker's benefit. Um, well, okay. Uh, and they have one kind of move, which is to bother the defender to do a lockdown. They, they, they have, to, I said no cost, really there is a little cost, but it's pretty much negligible for them. The defender's benefit will cease until they do the lockdown as long as they've been bothered, and the defender, but not the attacker, is aware of the bothering. Um, okay. So, uh, th this one I think we could call flip IT off. Um, and uh, the strategy ends up being relatively simple here. The defender uh, will pretty much obtain access when necessary. The access, as we established, is no point for someone who isn't being bothered to do a lockdown. So the, the, the obtaining access is no big deal. But uh, then you have to use an adaptive flip it strategy against the IT bothering strategy. I mean, if you think about it, flip it is sort of like two symmetric games going on at the same time. They're a little bit divorced from one another. So if you think about the, the, the defender, they're like playing flip it against the IT department who wants to do this bothering. Uh, the attacker, on the other hand, is basically playing flip it against the defender's lockdown strategy, whatever that is, as it emerges from the IT department strategy. And the IT strategy is to bother the defender in order to maximize the frequency of the defender's lockdowns. And so uh, the final result here is that uh, the equilibrium is maximally painful for the defender. Um, <laughs> 
And actually, it, it turns out, I think, the, the, there is actually something interesting I want to say here, which is that I believe what this amounts to is a game that gets played between the IT department and the, def and the attacker. And actually, the, the incentives are not quite the same as they are in Flip It. I think this is a different way of looking at things. Um, but anyway, thank you.